Hello guys, welcome back to yet another uh, different segment whereby we'll be looking into how you can get to grow your YouTube channel. If you're a total beginner, this is a question that I've been uh, uh, getting so many times and I decided why not help any other content creator out there who is willing to start making content. So there are a couple of things that are, there are a couple of features that are they're very, very important for you to utilize. And these are features which are available on YouTube. So I'll be showing you how you can get to make use of these features to make sure that you get to increase your, your, your video visibility out there. And of course you do understand the more your videos, they are more visible out there, the more you get to earn in return. So uh, there are two things which are very, very important before you get to move further. For you to understand so there is whereby the videos they are being recommended and they are where the, the situation whereby the video is being recommended i mean being suggested and being recommended so it's very very uh you don't have any control on uh, how your videos will be suggested by youtube uh that's up to to the youtube algorithm but when it comes to be your videos being recommended that's something that you can get to have some effect on and of course with that you get to earn or with that your videos they get to get more views and of course more viewership comes with a, a, a bigger paycheck so uh i'll be showing you these seven features that youtube has given us at our disposal to make sure that you get to make use of them but before you get into that if you're new to the channel i'll just request you to make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can get to help out the youtube algorithm and of course we can also get to grow as a team And every time I'm dropping a new trick, a new uh, strategy for you to earn money here on YouTube, you can always be notified. So uh, to start with, we have uh, this feature we normally call uh, whereby uh, we have a card. So with the card is whereby you get to see uh, a video link being suggested. As you get to watch the video, you get to see there's a link which is usually uh, suggested on top of that video. That's what we normally call the video card. So it's important for you as you get to upload your videos, you make sure you get to include some video cards, uh, some video link on that card option. And uh, what that helps, it helps for uh, if that if the audience of the individual which is watching that video uh, gets to uh, to be happy or excited about that video, they can get to click that card and of course they get to watch any other video that belongs to you and of course the video which is related to the content. So it's very very important for you to make sure that you get to make use of that card option. So the other feature which YouTube gets to give us is the end screen. With the end screens whereby after you get to upload the video, they normally request you which other video do you want people to get to watch. For that case, you normally add it uh, uh, when, while you're uploading your videos. At the end, you normally get to add the video uh, the video end card. And for that case, uh, for my case, I normally make sure I have at least two. Don't make, don't ma don't make it uh, to be uh, scattered so much. You just need to a maximum of just two uh, end script videos. So that once the individual gets to finish watch, watching that video, they can be uh, uh, recommended to watch those two, those two other videos that you have already attached at that uh, uh, at the end of that video so that's our second feature that youtube gets to give us at our disposal and let's head into a third in our list and this is whereby you can get to make use of youtube playlist so uh with the playlist is whereby i'm sure if you are a person who is not the first time to come to youtube you do uh, you have seen this happen time and again for instance if you get to watch a video uh from chris brown you realize that uh, on the side they normally get to suggest to you a couple of videos are uh, which are from the same same uh, individual what that means it means you'll be suggested to watch other videos from chris brown and what that does exactly is the fact that uh, that individual uh the content creator or the person who gets to manage the youtube channel they get to place the videos in a playlist meaning once you are done watching this one video you can be uh, recommended to watch the second one and of course this is something which has really really helped me uh for my videos to get viewership and for those people who have small channel this one is something which can really uh boost how much traffic you get on daily basis as well as how much traffic your videos they get to get so make sure you get so far to utilize the playlist you also have uh, uh we have the end screen we also have the youtube card so those so far those are the features so let's proceed into another feature that you can get to 
uh, to really make use and this goes by the name is called the YouTube an analytics. So with the YouTube analytics is whereby you get to take time to get to see where your viewership is coming from, which videos are uh, people who are watching your channel, which are the related videos or YouTube channel they are looking into and you can get to look at exactly what those people they are doing as uh, uh, better than you so that you can also get to uh, to uh, to execute or to put into use also in your videos so that they can also get to move a bit faster on the same youtube analogy you can also get to look at the locality the demographic where is your viewership coming uh, from and of course uh, for instance if your viewership is coming from united states uh, the high percentage is coming from united states you could choose to create content which is more related to united states and by the end of the day more people they get to uh to 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 realize that uh, you have already narrowed down and specialized to create some specific some specific uh videos on that so uh another important feature when it comes uh to youtube analytics it also gets to help you to see how far or for how long are, are people watching your videos and of course for shorter videos uh you realize that um the the, the impression as well as the watch uh, the watch rate is usually uh, very low as compared for creating longer videos so for that case i recommend anytime any day if you have the opportunity or you have the ability just go ahead you get to create longer videos since uh, they are easy to being uh, to being uh, recommended by youtube as well as being suggested as compared to small small uh, 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 videos so uh, lately youtube has introduced this option which is really working out for other social media platforms such as tiktok and i'm talking of youtube shorts 